Welcome to a different kind of video. So, um, this video is about the Nemesis um, print and play. So, Nemesis is a space horror board game where you're on a spaceship and there's aliens intruders on the loose trying to kill you and you have to fix the engines, change the course to get it back to Earth and um, try and escape in a life raft and probably blow up the ship. One of the neat things about the game is that it's um, kind of semi-cooperative. Um, you will have hidden, people have hidden agendas, so even though you might be working together, um, someone might actually be trying to kill you on the side. Um, you can also play it solo, um, which is a quite a fun experience. Um, and the game was in Kickstarter, I think, two, three years ago, originally. Um, it was huge, um, sold out, and it's been very expensive to buy. They did another Kickstarter last year, um, and that was um, promoting their sequel called Lockdown. Lockdown, yeah. Um, set on Mars. Um, and I'm going to all in on that um, with the intention that I would pick up um, the Nemesis when it hit retail, um, which was supposed to hit in November. I'm now in February, and that hasn't happened. Um, but way back in October, um, I was so excited about waiting for lockdown to arrive which is going to arrive September 2021 all things being reasonable um, I found that Awakened Realms had generously put a print and play version of the original um, Nemesis on their website for download and something you could build and I thought wow I like print and play the game looks really good I can't wait I'll get the retail when it comes out still hasn't um, so anyway I built it so I thought I'd do a little video about um, what's involved and what the components end up looking like if you do start to take on the print and play that is Nemesis. So that is available on the um, official Nemesis page on Awaken, Awaken Realms. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's a file to download with all the images um, to print out. And one thing they don't have, they have the rules for the full version, um, but they don't have the rules for the prototype rule belt book which matches the print and play. So you're going to have to find this out. Um, find this online, it's fairly trivial to find. Um, you can find it by Google. Google one um, prototype rulebook, um, Nemesis, and you'll find our PDF. Um, so you'll need that because these rules are slightly different to the final version. It is only a prototype, but it gives you a nice taster for the game. But one of the um, um, main parts of the game is the board. And the board is big. Um, I have printed it on A3. Um, it goes on to four A3 sheets of paper, um, which I have then laminated. Um, I'm going to spread it out. There's no way that my camera, if I put the camera to fight, do the whole board, it would just take up way too much space. So I haven't bothered to do that. But I will unfold it. So I've kind of got it going so that I can... Oops, I've got it upside down. Let's put it around. Knock my camera over and kind of line it up like so. Like so, you're not going to see all the edges, but um, it is a big board and it takes up a lot of space. And when you start laying out characters and your playing cards and things, it takes up even more space. So, you need a decent sized table, um, but it is well worth it. So, I'm just going to leave it like that. So, board laminated, it's all nice, um, and then the other bits that I built, um, I'm just going to go through different bits and pieces to give you a feel for what you end up doing when you build the um, printer play. So, um, maybe I'll start with the characters. So you need um, character cards, so there's a number of characters in the game that you can play, um, Captain, Scout, pilot, and you need an intruder board, scientist, and soldier. So these I have, these are double sided, um, which I have rounded um, and then laminated and then rounded again. So that's a pretty standard things to build. Um, intruder card. Um, and then I have organized my cards in <laughs> magic boxes. Let's keep things. So in this one I've got, um, these are the objective cards. So 
so what I did with those is printed them, I've sleeved them in, um, these are transparent dragon shield, and I was trying to, you know, magic card between them, so, you know, there's a front and a back, and I've just um, slipped a, an old magic common there to give it a bit of, um, a bit of weight. These ones I haven't glued on, um, in my later print and play I end up gluing them on, um, but these work fine. Um, some of them I haven't done the the backs, um, and so I've just put those in black sleeved um, Dragon Shield sleeves. And what else we got? So this is pretty standard for digging out um, cards. And what this one? This is okay. So this is more. Um, oh, these are the scientist cards. So these are character cards for the scientist. Um, each character has its own um, deck of cards, um, and I've also thrown in some of the objective cards in there as well. The thing about Nemesis is you have your standard cards, these are your standard magic size cards, and you've also got your mini cards. So the mini cards are a little bit more fiddly. Um, I was really lucky with my local gaming shop that they had the right size sleeves. Um, so these are, so that's the Commander, Captain, Scientist, oh, that's the Commander, Captain, oh, that's the Soldier, Soldier, Pilot, Scout, you start with two, um, two items, so these are the item cards, these I have printed, um, spot glued, and then trimmed the edges, um, and then sleeved them, they don't have the same kind of thickness, because they're just bits of, um, just, uh, ADGM, GSM paper, um, but they're good enough to play with, particularly once they've been sleeved. And so those go in there. One of the things with Genesis is there are quite a few components, so keeping them organised is handy. Um, but once you actually get them played out, the game is really smooth. Um, and you know, I often lay it out and have two or three, four games while it's all set out, because um, once it's set out, you're pretty much good to go. And so then the intruder has DNA cards, and I've done them the same way. So I've double-sided them, spot glued them, and then I've sleeved them. So they're a little bit more flexible than you'd expect in a normal card, but they're still very playable. Go back in there. And to be honest, um, that's part. That, that's a lot of the bulk work. Uh, for building the printer play is building the cards. Um, cutting out and double siding the um, the normal cards, normal size cards is fairly trivial. That's a standard cut them up. Um, the other ones get a little bit more tricky. Um, and what have we got on this one? This is, okay, so these are wound cards and uh, event cards. And again, you, you end up with a lot of cards. So you need sleeves, and like so, what I've done with these ones, again, I have just printed them, and they're just, you know, it's a magic card, magic the gathering card, give it a bit of extra weight. So that's, I don't know, maybe make a set of piles so you can get an idea. Oh. Idea of the number of cards you're going to end up printing. Um, if you end up do making this print and play, so it's one box, two boxes. This one is oh, these are like the action cards. Oh, I think they're probably the decks for the other characters actually. So that's the pilot. Everyone has their own um, set deck. So it's the commander deck, the pilot deck. Um, so we've got Soldier and Scout. And so you draw cards every turn and you use cards to um, do your actions. As you see, there are um, yeah, quite a few cards. Okay, and then here we've got uh, now these are contamination cards. When you get hit by the in intruders, um, they contaminate your characters and they have hidden information on them. Um, which you can resolve by going to the medical lab. Um, and one of the things that you'll need is to be able to read the, the, um, the information in there. And so when you buy the full game, it comes with the detector card. Um, 
I made my own. So this is just a piece of acetate, um, double-sided, which I have put, I think, four layers of red ink. Um, and then you can use that to overlay it to read what is actually on the cards. And you only read them um, when you're in the Medi Lab or at the end of the game, um, when, when you're instructed to by the rules. Um, so they are kind of like secret events, but you do need a decoder card to be able to read those. But as I've said, you just get yourself a red felt pen, put multiple layers across, um, and what it does is it basically just blanks out um, all the red, red lines and allows you to read the, the hidden text. So you'll need to make one of those. And in this one, we've got, uh, oh, these are more um, objectives. And so typically in the game, you draw two objectives and at some point during the game, you have to make a decision to which one you're gonna keep. Um, also I've got, and I'll do those in a minute, more little cards. So you've got panic decks of the small cards. Um, I think those are wound decks for the intruders. You've got um, equipment cards that you can pick up. Um, health packs that you can pick up. Health cards that you can pick up. And ammo and more equipment cards. And again, these are the same as the ones that I picked up before. Double-sided. They actually took a long time because I spot glued them and then trimmed them. Um, to get the white edges off. So they actually took longer than pretty much anything else. So those are the main cards that you're going to end up having to build, which is fairly time consuming. Let's put those away. Um, you'll also, if you see on the board, um, part of the, the, the fun of the game is that there's this randomization. And so that when you play the game, you put rooms and they get laid out in a semi-random order. And so you need to build the rooms themselves. Um, these are double-sided paper, which I'll then just laminated, and then cut out. And so that's a room one. Uh, I think the room one's gone on the outside. Room, yeah, room one's gone on the outside. Room two's gone on the inside. And you've got a whole lot of rooms. So that's uh, room one and room two. And as you explore the ship, um, they get flipped over. Um, and they get matched up and they get turned around as you search them. Um, and it determines what things you can find, um, but it's part of the game mechanism. And um, what's interesting for here is um, having them laminated, I think, was kind of a good idea. Um, they're very slippy. Um, so if I was going to do it again, I might only laminate one side. Uh, you can do that by putting a um, putting something through a um, laminator as a double layer. And then when you cut it, it separates and you get one laminated side and one non-laminated side. Um, that might stop it slipping around. As it is, you've just got to be a little bit careful. Um, and you end up placing all these cards around, um, these tiles, um, and then they get flipped over as you explore. So they're kind of standard components. Then we get some more interesting stuff. Um, you need little... Well, you'll need bag because part of the mechanism for um, intruders is you have these tokens that go in the bag and when no noise events happen you draw, draw draw out tokens and they determine what happens whether you get a adult intruder or a um a queen again don't forget this is a early prototype from the original kickstarter so some of the art um, and images are um I guess, um, well, they're prototypes. They're, they're not the final ones that you get in the final version. The final version has a lot more um, polish. That being said, very playable as it is. So you need some kind of bag to put your tokens in, so when you draw them out. Um, there are dice. Um, so this is a 10-sided dice, uh, die. Um, the layout is provided on the print and play. You cut it out. I got an old um, Dungeons & Dragons dice that was kicking around, and I glued it on and then I got a black pen and I just filled in all the edges and so you end up with um, a nice dice that gives you um, I think this is a noise dice um, I was going to polish the outside but I never bothered 
and you know, it's still got the nice weight of a dice because it is a dice, it's just been re-wrapped. Re you need a couple of, I use wooden tokens for the, the different attributes of the ship, for the, the timer and whether it's going to self-destruct. Um, you've got damage tokens to rooms, which are a little bit fiddly because they're um, triangles. I end up snipping the edges so I don't end up stabbing myself with the laminated because if, if you leave the corners they get a little bit um so I left the corners on the paper versions but when I laminated I snip the edges because I don't want to stand up jabbing myself every time um, I try and grab them out of the container oh there's a attack dice and again this is a I actually use one of these wooden cubes and just glued and then coloured in the edges and works perfectly well um, then, of course, one of the big things about um, the game is the miniatures, which, of course, you don't get. Um, you don't get images for the miniatures in the print and play. You have to make those yourself. Um, so I went to Board Game Geek and had a look at some of the images that were there from the game and basically um, made some double-sided images, which I then um, cut out laminated and cut out again and to make a nice stand you get a bulldog clip so if you get a standard bulldog clip stick it on pull off the, the edges then you get nice little standies for your characters for your intruders um which and they can color code them if you get standies and um you end up with your critters and again um you can make as many as you need. Um, like I say, I have mirrored them so that they are double-sided um, and cut them out, laminated them and cut them out again. Um, I picked just one image for my intruders and just duplicated it. Um, there's multiple images of people that have painted their um, intruders. You go to town, um, and make your own. You need a set of um, other hidden things like the engines damaged or not, they get played out on the board um, and then have to be fixed or not, whether they're working or they're not. So again, those are a little bit fiddly, cut them out, laminate them, cut them out again. Um, so a, lo a lot of the build is building cards um, and the, the multiple levels that you need to do when you do a lamination um, because you, you, cut, you print it cut it out, then you laminate it and cut it out again. So it's kind of duplicated. You've got your life life pods, which are pretty easy. Um, doors, um, again, I put little standees on them. And so you get a, a nice little 3D effect when you stick your doors on the map. Um, and um, you can turn them sideways. And that's gone horribly wrong. Maybe I'll get Get a clip to open that, you know, you can um, put your clips on and turn them sideways if you want your doors to be damaged or closed or whatever the game is telling you. And I'll have to fix that one later. Um, what else we got? Um, oh, and you've got tokens. So a lot of things are token driven. So when you get noise events, you put down yellow tokens. I picked these up, I think, online. You can also pick up tokens really cheaply from places like Officeworks. Um, and some of the colours I didn't have at the time, I couldn't find them, so I got myself a Fisker circle maker, um, and you pretty much can grab your coloured paper and um, make as many tokens as you like. Um, so I did that with, looks like I did that with the, um, with the black and some of the red. I think I've upgraded my red ones. I haven't taken them out of the box yet. The real tokens. Um, and those I laminated on one side. So again, you stick them two bits of paper, laminate it, and then when you cut them out, they separate. You can laminate both sides. It just didn't seem to be any point. So yeah, so those that's pretty much the um, print and play for Nemesis board game. Um, the... Standees are a little bit fiddly. Um, there's a lot of cards, um, but the game plays really well. Um, 
it's not the full game so you know there there are um if you get the the current rules um there's some simplifications in here um there's a bit of errata on some of the cards i didn't fix anything um i use when i play i use the prototype rule book um and it, and it really works really well um still holding out for my retail version to arrive which i pre-ordered um and if not um come september lockdown um will hopefully arrive in a massive box there you go that is the print to play overview for nemesis